All right, y'all. Figured I'd come in and check in with everybody. I'm going to uh, let a few people try to get up in here real quick. Haven't went live in months, so I don't know how well y'all are going to come in, but give it a few. Give it a few. It's probably going to get deleted, but it is what it is. What's up, brother? See, it don't even tell me anybody's in here, man. What's good, bro? You a new subscriber too? I ain't seen your name before, bro. I'm trying to wait till a couple people get in here, man. I'm sorry. Let's wait till a couple people get in. What's up, Logan? What's up, David? What's up, guy? Y'all new subscribers? Appreciate y'all subscribing, man. Just wait till a few people get in. Appreciate that, Troy. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, just want to let a couple people get in. I'm going to update you guys with a couple things real quick. I know everybody's waiting to see a new video, but I promise it's getting ready to come. Just explain a couple of the, the complications I run into every time I try to upload one of my videos. Just because I do a lot of editing and use different effects and stuff like that color grade my footage and everything it's usually a bigger file so when i go to upload to youtube being i got xfinity internet man it's it uploads so slow like it literally takes three to four hours to upload literally like one of them three gigabyte videos and that's one of my like 15 14 16 minute videos it'll take a couple hours to upload that so when i try to upload a bigger video it just fucks it all up. So I had to go back in um, the program and the, the second video to season three that was supposed to come out on Monday. I just chopped it up a little bit and made it two different episodes. So able to uh, upload it a lot faster and it'll be uploaded tonight. Hopefully as long as it uploads in time. I mean, if not, then it'll definitely be up there by the time y'all get up in the morning. But um, this is what we're doing right now. It's another thing. I've been so busy. Like, I do a lot of stuff for Honk, which they uh, do a lot of cars for Carvana, lockbox toes. And recently, they've been sending upwards to about five of them a day. Literally every single day for the last 10 days, I did a reset. And uh, they reset my whole account for them. And each car is paying over 300 to four. 50 at the most um per vehicle and just took one of them over there but it, trying to take five vehicles a day with one tow truck over the bay bridge you know what i mean 40 50 miles away it, it gets a little complicated a little busy so plus I, I like to edit my youtube videos nice like i don't like just putting out a straight one angle gopro clip you know what i mean of me talking this and that nah man i like to make short movies it's just what i do man i, I it's nothing specific on my channel it's nothing like tutorials this and that which here and there i will do little tutorials for telling or whatever but it's not based on that this channel is strictly based on me a day in the life of an owner operator I've came from prison, I got a felony, I've done all this shit, and this is my company. I started it, what, a year and a half after I got out of prison and just been hustling. I've been doing this with no credit, no money up front. I busted my ass to get this tow truck. I busted my ass to keep it going. There were so many things that went wrong. If you guys go back and watch older videos, you'll see the engine blowing. You'll see this boom right here snapping at the end with a truck on it had to go get a new boom there's been so many things but this is what the channel is about it's about the complications about just everyday towing life it's it's not all about the good and all million trucks and we make a million dollars a day in revenue it's not about that man it's there's some good things on here you know what i mean there's some accomplishments i'm proud of and everything but you're gonna see a lot of struggling you're gonna see a lot of 
putting together this and that and working with what you can and just showing that you can do it. Like last year, cleared over 6,000, not 6,000, cleared over six figures with one tow truck. And that was with a six month span. And I was with a motor club at a Giro. So you guys know the rates for motor clubs. You put that together and figure out how hard I worked in those six months to make over six figures. And you could look up the taxes, whatever. It was $157,000. First year, busting it. You know what I mean? Like, that just tells you how much I hustle. But that's what this channel's about. Because a lot of people will come on here saying, you know what I mean? Oh, where's all the repos? And where's this? I'm a repossession company. I'm a towing company. Impounds. I buy junk cars. I do everything. You know what I mean? There's not one thing I do. So you're going to get a mixture of everything on this channel. And lately, I've been putting it into seasons. And I appreciate everybody showing love recently, too. But everything is just based off of seasons. We'll put like 8 to 12 um, episodes in a season of just everyday thing. It's just day-to-day -day life with what I do. But uh, just wanted to touch base on that because... There, I do get a lot of people on the channel that are confused and uh, come here strictly thinking it's it's about towing or I'm here to teach people this and that. No, nah, I teach people along the way. I'll help everybody that wants to be helped. I'll do a lot of things, you know what I mean, as best as I can, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to make that um, forefront over everything that is this channel is not strictly based about one thing and uh hope everybody you know what i mean is okay with that i mean i just feel like there's a lot of other channels that teach you good tutorials about towing and the other people that do do that the diligence better than me you know what i mean and uh it's just not my forte my forte is just to show you the struggle the hustle the ambition of owner operator you know what i mean a felon everything get back to some of these things man i've been a sub comment a while back it's been out the loop getting my cdl did you get your cdl bro i appreciate that logan yeah bro felony shit's fucked up man and it's been seven years for me almost eight years since i've caught that felony and did my time and everything and uh, in Maryland, after seven years, you're able to get it expunged. So that's one thing I'm trying to work hard on because I do want my carry permit. So I want to be able to have a firearm, man. And I'll give up my medical marijuana card for that, too. So any day, you know what I mean? Because you can't have both in the state of Maryland being I got a medical card. But it is what it is. It's worth it. I'd give that up to get my firearm. You know what I mean? definitely give that up but enough with the chitter chatter man let's see what we got here all right got this Mazda 6 lockbox tow caravana everything is uh lock boxes you know what i mean you got your keys inside the lock boxes and uh So we took one already. I got five more to take. We had six of them. I piled up six cars from Carvana yesterday. Like I said, they send me about five of them a day. Anywhere from three to four fifty per price. Um, I'm taking them right over to the Mannheim auction right across the Bay Bridge, which is only like 50 miles from me. It's an hour away. Not bad. I wish it was a little better, but you can add extra charges in, like toll and stuff like that. But they're keeping these cars coming every day since I did my reset. Yesterday, I'm sorry, guys. Woo, my acid reflux is crazy right now. But, um, yeah, they've been sending that many. Yesterday, cleared 1,700 off of these five cars. 1,700, bro. Five toes. That was it five little quick ass toes i went and picked them up they're usually not far from me within 15 minutes or so from me that i gotta pick up i bring them back here to the lot i stack them up because it their honk app is off of uh location so what i do i like to stay in this area around now 
till like three, four, or five o'clock because they'll send them. And I usually catch the car van a person when I go get usually the first or second call. I'll usually catch the person while I'm there and they'll give me a heads up like, hey, I'm going to see three more or I got no more or I got a couple more. And uh, from there, what I do is just manage and schedule my time off of there. I'll come back, unload every car that I get because it's just a two hour pickup. They don't stress nothing about drop off time you know what i mean i know some people that hold these cars for a couple weeks at a time so what i like to do is pick every single car up that way i got every car in my possession so all i have to do is tow it from here to the lot and come back it sucks with one tow truck i need a flatbed but we're getting there we're about to buy a house and everything which if y'all seen that video y'all know so and that's coming big time man the flatbed is uh coming soon, man. Hey, David, for some reason, they blocked that message, bro. Flatbed's coming soon, man. Um, like I just said, I'm about to buy a house and everything, but if Honk keeps these calls up, because this what I made yesterday is not including. Sometimes I get a I get to uh fit in a couple local toes too. And anywhere from a hundred to a couple hundred dollars as well. So right now. With one truck, I feel like I'm making pretty good money, upwards of $2,000 a day, and hustling, man. But let's go look at these other ones. Like I said, we got this Volkswagen over here. We just took a nice little Passat this morning. We got this 4Runner, this one, and this one is all-wheel drive. And then we got this one. But this Hyundai right here, and that Mazda over there are going to the Baltimore location. This one, this one, and that blue one is going to the Elk Ridge location. Which, is, they're only like eight minutes apart, but one of them has two different DOT checkpoints you got to go to. The Bay Bridge, and then you got the uh, Harbor Tunnel going into Baltimore, which... Y'all are going to see, I'm not going to give too much away because y'all are going to see, it's probably going to be season four, season five. Because right now, listen, right now, I got footage to make, what was it, three more seasons. I got all the way up to season five right now of all footage. I got all the footage loaded. All I got to do is chop things up, add some music and shit and make stories out of it. But I got so much footage recording because all that stuff you guys are watching now is from like two months ago yeah we're still back in august september getting ready to come in october i actually know yeah we're in october now on uh season three the beginning of season three that last video i posted that's back from october so y'all are watching up to where i am now and i'm just giving you a brief update to where we are now busy as hell but like i said i got all that footage up to there so but y'all are gonna see season five the trouble I've been having with DOT lately. I've been pulled over every single time I've crossed that Harbor Tunnel and that Bay Bridge in the last three days. Yesterday was the first day I didn't get nothing because I guess they're getting used to me and I've done everything for them. But they've made me, and <laughs> they said, Maryland, they never used to be worried about it. Only like big box trucks and all that shit. But now they said when I have a little car on the hook, put one fucking safety chain on because on the western shore they're starting to crack down the eastern shore they don't give a fuck if you got them on they do not care at all and then the other thing they kept trying to get me for was this my fucking front tag not being put on so i ended up having to put that on baton rouge what's up brother um i don't know man depends like which what ones uh when i'm in the market for the flatbed it just depends which one i'm gonna get and everything but uh i'd like to get like an international or a ram i'll be okay with a ram 4500 one of them little ones with the aluminum bed on it you know what i mean i mean not the aluminum bed steel bed on it <laughs> i'm talking stupid right now but uh you know i mean just the little regular size ram 4500 and like that i'll kick it with that shit man i'll take a 99 ford right now if i could find one 
it don't matter to me, man. Shit, I bust whatever, but I, I, a look is essential. Like I got this a two thousand. It's dirty as hell. Like I really gotta wash it, but I at least try to make it look good. Like I don't try to have any rust showing or anything. Like even right now. This is starting to get scraped back up again. I always spray this with black spray paint every time. I usually, you know what I mean, just brush right over. Because if not, it'll start getting all rusty and, you know what I mean, doing shit you don't want it to do. So, I usually try to keep it sprayed up like this. You know what I mean, just spray all this shit back over. Just so it don't rust or anything. But the new lift is still working good, fellas. If y'all haven't watched that video, go back and watch this get put on from Dynamic. Got the whole fucking boom put on because it broke off right here when we had that truck on. And, uh, fucking sucked, man. But, like I said, we've been through some struggles on this channel, man. And if you guys are new, go catch up on some of the older videos, man, and y'all gonna love them man the newer ones are getting better you know what i mean i'm getting my drone out getting a lot of better footage and stuff you know what i mean this is what i shoot on just in case anybody is wondering got the canon rp road mic thinking about getting the wireless mics but it hasn't really been that big of an issue because if i got that camera posted somewhere i could just wear the gopro and capture audio off of that you know what i mean i don't need a wireless mic or anything just have your GoPro run and sync the audio to the other clip, and you good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I'll give you all a full little tour of the truck real quick. It's dirty, like I said, man. I need some new brakes, too. They just started wearing out on me. They're not bad, but I could just tell them about to need some new brakes. And no, it's not missing a hubcap. Or not missing a lug nut. Those are just a simulator. But that's the truck, man. 2000 F550 7.3. Monster of a fucking machine. New dynamic 601 self-loader. I got the 9,000 pound winch. Yeah, the winch cable's all fucked up, but I'm getting ready to change it. So, I'm not worried about it. I got all the LED lights on here. You know what I mean? All the side markers. We got the red and yellow LEDs. Shit, my fucking thing busted off. Cover. I gotta put a new cover on there. I put all these lights on there. Look, this shit's all fucked up. Gotta put them lights on. I got that rear view camera. Tires good. My buddy, look, because one of my dollies, y'all are going to see that too. One of my fucking dollies blew off the bat. And listen, guys, I'm going to make this aware too. Because I've been getting a couple comments lately. Somehow I hit the algorithm and made it up there with cussing and everything. But if you guys can't handle cussing, this ain't the channel for you. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm a tow truck driver and I cuss like a fucking sailor. I don't know why. It's just my vocabulary. I don't look at cussing as a bad thing. It is what it is. I've been trying to get better with it, but I can't. And I'm not going to sit there and go through and edit every single clip out. So you just get raw fucking footage when you watch here, man. It is what it is. Somehow I slipped through with YouTube letting me, but you just get raw fucking footage. Just had to say that, you know what I mean? Thanks, Louisiana. I bet it's nice and warm down there, ain't it? Man, it's cold as hell up here right now. But yeah, one of my dollies blew off, man. Somehow, when it was that windy-ass day we had last week, one of the dollies blew off, man. So I only got one of them. Actually, the other one would be here today. I just ordered a new one. And UPS should be dropping it off anytime. But my boy Chris let me borrow these in the ditches. And I'm going to tell you. These things are a fucking horse, bro. Look how big this tire is. Just look at them things. They're massive compared to my Collins dollies. Massive, man. Let 
Right. A absolutely. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. That's a good way to put it, Scott. That's a, that's the perfect way to put it. Perfect. Yep. People out there just being ignorant, slinging cuss words. I just cuss just to, I don't even know why I cuss. It just had, I don't know. It's just natural, man. I don't know. Just natural. I'll show you guys interior real quick. But yeah, I'm waiting to, getting ready to load this up. I wanted to wait to see if UPS was coming real quick because... Another thing DOT tried to stop me for and make a point of was that my wireless tow light kept dying. So they were trying to hit me with that all the time. But then I got some good knowledge when I went to the Bay Bridge and the Harbor Tunnel. They told me it does not matter about that tow light. Look, a Jiro coming through. Detroit, what's up, bro? But it's cold up there, ain't it, boy? But yeah, they told me if I have a smaller vehicle and shit like that on the lift... As long as it's not like a truck SUV or bigger box truck or anything, then you don't have to worry about the wireless tow light. If they can see right here, if they can see, because I have my brake lights up there, brake lights, turn signals, and even on the light bar, there's brake lights and turn signals right there in the middle. And as long as you're behind the vehicle and you can see those over top of the car, you do not have to have the wireless light on there. And Dallas, what's up? And there's been two times where <coughs> they gave me fines for them fucking tow lights. And I tell the, <coughs> Woo, excuse me, <coughs> choking. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. <coughs> but there's been two times DOT has stopped me for that wireless tow light and gave me a $90 fine a piece for it. <coughs> God damn, choked on my fucking spit. <coughs> and Columbus, what's up? Wisconsin, what's up? So... I did get clarification that you don't have to have that wireless tow light, say like carrying this Mazda or like even that Subaru back there. It's not too big. <coughs> now this 4Runner, you're going to want to put your tow light on there. Florida, what's up? Fort Walton, my brother's down in Florida, man. You're going to want to use your tow light then, but they've been trying to get me for that. And they literally didn't know what else to come up with because my truck passed inspection with flying colors. It was just the little minor things not involved with my truck, like the wireless tow light. Or no, 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 wait. The tag was the main thing they kept trying to get me with. And he was like, I could hit you with a $1,000 fine right now and blah, blah, blah. But <coughs> I'm not going to. And you know what I mean? That's the number one thing you've been getting pulled for by DOT. I said, yeah, because my truck in good good standing condition but it's just ridiculous man how they can put you out of service they put me out of service a month ago two months ago for my um my parking brake on automatic for one but for my parking brake put me out of service had to get that fixed and inspected and then put me out of service in glen bernie but he didn't tell me he put me out of service but the other officer was like yeah it was out of service but that was from my tow light out of service for the wireless tow light when you can see my other lights so <clears throat> they've been on a roll lately man it's probably because of the holidays but if y'all are out there riding man just make sure y'all ride good man because they're fucking mm, they're nazis man like they're fucking crazy dude just straight up crazy man just targeting people little road pirates but uh yeah i just wanted to update everybody man and welcome everybody to the channel introduce myself right <laughs> right little people man and i was like dude why why is it dude i said i'm out here literally busting my ass working 
trying to do everything I can as an owner operator. And of course you learn every day something new. With DOT, with towing, with anything, man, you learn something new every single day, man. And I'm learning as I go with DOT, man. There's so many things to know and laws to abide by and things you can do and can't do and this and like, dude, if you know it all, I tip my motherfucking hat to you because it's crazy, man. Free toaster. <laughs> they might get that that uh that coffee pot cure rig, you know that two in one. They really working hard, man. But I don't know. I was trying to wait for the all that mail and stuff to come, but I don't know. I just seen the mail lady go that way. She's supposed to have my toe light. UPS is supposed to have my um, dolly wheel. And look, I ordered the yellow bomber jacket, like the big puffy one you see all tow truck drivers with. So just so I could be official tow truck driver. But I ordered that and I got my logo imprinted on the back. Right, yeah, not even DOT knows their own fucking laws, man. But it, it's crazy, dude, because... I don't know, man. It's stressful sometimes. But I guess once you keep going through and then they know you're good, they don't really fuck with you. Like yesterday, dude, they waved me through. I got pulled into the, the way station, but they waved me out. You know what I mean? Every other time they fucking pulled me through there and made me, you know what I mean, inspect and all that shit. And, dude, they had me at the tunnel. They had me at the Bay Bridge. They had me in Vienna. Too many times, bro. Too many times. Too many fucking times to deal with, man. Oh, and and Glen Burnie. Dude, I was just driving up Ritchie Highway. He was just sitting on the side of the shoulder. Last Saturday, matter of fact. Hit me. Boom. Cut traffic off just to get behind me, man. No reason. Toe light. But I mean, I will say, man, they've been all cool with me because... Like, I'll show you what I keep for my uh, DOT binder. So when they ask you for everything, you know what I mean? You're usually pretty good. Canada. Appreciate that, bud. Canada in the house, man. That's what's up. Appreciate that, man. Here, let me show you all some stuff in the truck. So this is the interior. Of course, I got to clean it, man. She's dirty. She's dirty dirty as hell god damn i'm embarrassed to show y'all this now shit embarrassed to show y'all there's my laptop stand there's all that good stuff this is about the mainly the worst thing in here look i've gotten the the rocker panel replaced all oh, that's new that was fucking welded up but that was a shitty ass job but this was all replaced new had this put on uh good i put all these on the truck i put the uh light right there in i put these switches in right here yeah i bought this laptop uh stand from uh ram stands and uh they're the best man look it bolts right in under the seat oh y'all ain't gonna be able to see it but it bolts right in i'll go to the other side and show you guys but that was 350 bucks man 350 bucks, look. I added this little center console, man, because I ain't got no cup holders. But look, it'll swivel. My toe light get out the way. Look. I got wires everywhere. It'll swivel. It adjusts. This thing will flip. You can flip this. Sorry. You can take that and flip it straight up and down like if you got that ipad so you can have it sitting over here in your face but i can bring it all the way over by me and then push it away if i want or just bring it over i can bring it up you know what i mean i could do so many things with it it has like three different like adjust points because <laughs> it'll adjust over here right on that side and then this adjusts, and then that adjusts 
So you could pretty much put that thing literally any way you want to sit in this truck. You know what I mean? 350 bucks. Ram stands. There's the website, rammount.com. Sorry, my truck's so dirty, man. Tough tray. And they make them for all different trucks. Like this one specifically for my year, 2000 to what, 03? Or 99 to 03. And it literally... Let me show y'all. Look, I got some new reverse lights too. But there it is right there. It has this little stand like this and then this goes down onto the floor for more, ah, more stability and then it has this right here that literally just bolts right onto your stock um seat bolts and there it is it adjusts literally any way you want right truck clean you ain't doing something right yeah i know the ipad ones y'all talking about man but this will hold the ipad too look see what it does in order to hold the laptops in it, I'll show you how it does that. All right, so. It pulls apart. It's hard to do it with one hand, but <coughs> say like you had the iPad what you would do is turn this this way and move it around here like this lift it up like this to where your holders are in the top and then try to pull it apart let me keep it crooked for y'all but it literally goes out as far as you know what i mean probably like 20 24 inches two feet really it's fucking worth it definitely worth it and it's sturdy as a motherfucker man i could really get that tighter but i like moving it like this so i keep it loose right here just a little bit just so it can turn you know what i mean so i can just move it away put some drinks in the cup holder move it back but it extends out everything <coughs> i put these switches on here this is for the rear lights up down all over this is for my side lights like all the ones around my truck, the front bumper, all that. This is my light bar. If I just want a side of the road pulled over, I'd use the light bar. Or all of them. I just push them both. This right here is my PTO switch. Sorry. Y'all see, y'all see the struggle. Look, you know what I mean? My shit ain't all the fucking peachy fucking clean. This over here, took it to the shop. They put this in, but when I just took it to the shop again to get my oil cooler put in they fried this switch somehow so i had to move it to this one and push that on and that turns that on you know what i mean put it off and then boom bam and that's the rear view camera pretty fucking clean man you know how much i got that fucking rear view camera and that mount for it came with that little seven inch tv or five inch tv it came with the rear view camera and I paid motherfucking 30 bucks on Amazon for it. You goddamn right. All these things right here, all these lights on my whole truck that I have no problems with. The only problems I have is when my inside shit cuts my wire. But this right here, 30 bucks for 20 of them. Amazon. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Joe. That's not all. Get the fuck out of here. That's not all. See, everybody went them $50 per light. What I look like putting fucking $600, $700 in lights on my goddamn truck for? If you got the money, the fucking hat's off to you, man. But I I don't do that. No, 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 no. They make cheaper shit just as nice and last just as longer than the motherfucking other shit. The other shit built nice. Yeah, of course. Cool. But I ain't paying 50 bucks a fucking light. You can suck my mother. Yeah. But, uh, what you call it? Everything else. Look, all of these lights. I got four of them. You know how much I paid for four of them? 
15 fucking dollars. Look, I got all four of these lights. That's when my truck ran backwards into the fucking brand new uh, Tahoe at the dealership. But y'all will see that in season four. All four of them lights. Like I said, 15 bucks. This light, that light, fucking eight dollars. Come on now. And those things are bright. Let me turn them on for you. You're going to see them in the daytime. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to see them in the daytime. Because they just that fucking nice. Eight fucking dollars for both of them. Come on, DJ. Fuck with me, DJ. Look. Look at the top ones. Look how bright they are in the daytime. That's daytime shining. Nighttime, them things are off the chain. Right? <laughs> night things, man. I, I I don't like... I mean, I like towing at night. But I hate towing at night. <laughs> if you know what I mean. You know, look how bright them lights are, man. And let me turn on my... Let me turn on all the lights. You should be able to see them, too. Thirty bucks for all of these lights. Come on now, and people are paying fifty dollars, fifty dollars. That's two hundred dollars. Thirty dollars for all of them, and I got extras. My cover plate broke off of there. Look at that shit, though, man. Oh, Louisiana. Well, you something else, man. Appreciate that, brother. I'm going to have to make you a moderator, bro. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Look, I got some I got some loyal people now, subscribers, man. I'm glad. Look, real shit, man. I'm glad all y'all new people found my channel, man, because it just y'all new people right here that's in the channel right now, man. Y'all are showing more love than I've ever had period you know what i mean like that shit means a lot man for real that it means a lot man. it's gonna go right back into the channel you gotta see my equipment oh look mail lady but she's gotta go up and around and scoot back but i hope she got my toe light i hope she does yeah i hope she got it i don't know she's real nice man i think i think that's she's related to me somehow I don't know though. But yeah, man, that stuff goes a long way, man. Cause I'm trying to put this stuff out as fast as I can for you guys, but I appreciate everything, man. And I promise you, you guys, listen, the videos I got coming up, dude, I swear to God, the next, like, from as far as I remember, like the next 12 videos about to come out, dude, all killer, man. The, oh man, I know the next, like eight of them have like all like sick drone shots um just everything man like y'all are gonna love this i'm telling you it's getting better and better because i do all my editing i do all of that stuff myself so it's you know what i mean it's hard trying to do that and run a company and everything but there is sometimes where i'll just take a whole day off so i won't make no money in the towing company but I'll spend all day editing the videos and stuff like that just so I can get them out to you guys because I believe in being persistent. I believe in being consistent and I believe in dedication and all of that has to do with being a content creator and it's stressful, man. Like there's been so many times I've wanted to quit this stuff, man. So many times, dude, because nobody I was only getting like a couple hundred views on my videos and yeah, man. It, it it's a lot man especially like because i edit like the hell out of my videos so like i want you guys to like watch there's a jiro coming again like i want you guys to like watch some dope ass stuff like like a little movie you know what i mean like there's some channels i like to where people are just riding around with the gopro and doing things but like i try to keep it fast paced for you guys so you're not just watching like dead time of me just driving down the street or talking to somebody or something like that 
I try to like cut it straight to the point so you guys can always just consistently, what's up Virginia? So you guys can always consistently try to just keep engaged the whole time. You know what I mean? I try to engage you guys the whole time. So it's never like a dull moment. I know some of times it gets boring on some parts and stuff, but I don't know. Different people like different things. So I've been trying to figure out like how to really put the videos together because your guys' feedback is everything. And you know what I mean? What I tend to put out on the channel, like I'm still going to put what I want to put out on the channel, but I'm trying to make it what you guys want to see as well mixed with like what I believe in and what I stand for with the YouTube channel and dude listen in the last 10 days I've had 64,000 no 84,000 uh new views I've had 1.3 thousand followers in the last 10 days and that's all you guys man you guys took my one video that was at, I think it was at like 800, 700 plays. And you guys got that at 65,000 plays right now, dude. 65,000 plays in 10 days, man. And that took my channel almost up to, what, we're over 6,000 subscribers now. And I was at 5,000. Like, you guys did a lot, man. And I'm, I'm trying to stay consistent now, now that I've got a big change in the channel. I'm trying to stay more consistent and to, you know what I mean, getting that shit there for you guys, getting it there. Like, the content is already filmed up for, like I said, like two months. Like, I got two months worth of stuff. Like, I got SD cards all out. Virginia, what's up? Thanks, Bender. Bender, I'm going to have that video out for you tonight, bro. I know you're waiting, bro. Have more customers. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I cut out, dude. People are gonna hate me. Like I really, I'm not gonna. Lie. I really try to not cuss that much, but it slips, man. It, it just comes natural, and you know, it's I don't know, man. It's just natural to me. It's just natural. Come here, boy. Look at my new puppy. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Hey, boy. Here's my new chocolate lab. Ain't he so cute? Oh. Sorry, y'all. Look at him, though. I just got him a couple, what, I think like a couple weeks ago. He's getting so big already. Look at his fucking paws, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah, boy. Come on. But he listens so good, too, man. Like, he'll walk around and everything. Yeah, I know you're waiting, Bender. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up, man. I've been busy as hell, man. I don't know how long you've been on the video, but if you rewind it, I'll show you, like, what I've been busy with. This is another thing I do, guys. Advertise everything put this outside and you know what i mean look i'm humble man look what i'm living in dude it's tight man but i'm humble dude yeah man he loves riding but the only thing he keeps pooping in my truck <laughs> there's my thing you know what i mean anybody could text me anytime you need help or whatever you stuck with trying to get calls or anything go ahead shoot me a text man i ask anybody man there's hundreds of you guys listen there's hundreds of people that contact me from TikTok, man. Cause TikTok, I got like 42,000 people on there. And there's a lot of people that contact me through there. I don't even know how they find me. Like, I guess they Google me and stuff, but there's so many people that reach out and I'll get emails and phone calls and texts. And I'll still keep my number put up, man. Just because, man, I like helping people. And ask anybody, dude, I try to help you as much as I can. If, I mean, what works for me might not work for you. I mean, location is a big thing. Look, Capone back here taking a shit, y'all. <laughs> Capone back here taking a shit, y'all. <laughs> but you struggling, boy. 
But I try, man. I try to help anybody, dude. Oh, damn. I didn't know you was here that long, bro. I never knew that, man. Yeah, man. Oh, here's UPS with my stuff, man. Hell yeah. My dollies, boy. Y'all gonna watch me get my dollies right now. Whoa, what? Oh, he's taking another shit. He's taking another shit. Come on, boy. You can't get it out. Come on. Where the fuck's he going? Oh, there he goes. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> What's up, hey, buddy? What's happening, buddy? Busy. I know I got something heavy for you, huh? Yeah, you got, I got these too, and I got some... Uh, Box that up very good, don't they? Don't <laughs> come here, boy. Hey, come here. <laughs> come here, boy. Where you put one of UPS yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right, have a good one, buddy. You too, man. All right. Come on. Get him away. No. There we go. That's how they send that shit, man. <laughs> he fucking, he got up in the UPS truck, man. Man, they didn't send that thing good at all, did they? That's what we need. You can get out that way, can't you? Oh, no, is that mine? Yeah, the top one is yours. Yeah, you can get out. And I got this jacket. Let's see this jacket, man. Let's see what this jacket looks like. No. And if y'all wonder where I got these from, I got them from Zips. Where is it at? Yeah, Zips down there. Zips her house. Oh. Oh, you got them. Oh. Try to get my wife's car up out of here without moving my tow truck. king of small spaces you learn how to maneuver shit when all you have to work with is small lots and shit boom that's how we do it sorry y'all got distracted for a second i'm mad you thought i couldn't do that by myself you probably could i could have <laughs> love you Yeah, those are the same ones, man. I couldn't believe they fell off the back of the truck, though. That's crazy how they send that. My UPS, man, he... I like that dude, man. He's a funny-ass dude, but... He was struggling with them motherfuckers, weren't he? All right, let's go ahead and, uh... Open this jacket up, man. Let me set y'all up over here. Can't set you up somewhere is better. There we go. Hang 
Cheetos. She had to be out. She just had to be out. Come here, get over here. You know better, and you know better. Come on, sit down. No. He gonna get it. <laughs> Come on, cause you gonna try to get squirrely. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You wanna stay out, don't you? All right. All right, y'all. Come here. Come here. You know better. I wasn't going over there. All right. Where my keys at? And this is my little bomber jacket. That dolly. Oh, man. For this one side, let me see if it tells, shows you the price on here so y'all don't think I'm lying. Come here. Nah, I don't come with the invoice on there. But that was uh, 709. And I got, come here. You guys are getting squirrel. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. He's like, hell no, I ain't coming in. Come here. Come on. Oh, you little weenie. Uh. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Yeah, that one dolly wheel was 709 off of zips. 700 bucks, man. I would have paid somebody I would have paid somebody 500 bucks to bring that bitch back. Yeah, 700 extra bucks, man, and I tell you, that hurt me. I, I have a feeling my toe light's not going to come today, though. I guarantee you it's not going to come. Oh, man, I got another tow truck toy. That's my second one from him. Hold on. What's up, man? Yeah, man. I'd hate to be doing all that, dude. Dude, I collect these tow trucks from Zips. <coughs> I didn't think they'd send me one with this. Good God, man, it's getting cold out here, dude. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And That's where I get everything. <coughs> Literally everything except my straps. I get my straps on Amazon, the Vulcan straps. That's where I get it all. They got a whole bunch of gear. Season three, <coughs> episode one came out <coughs> two weeks ago. But the other video I will have for y'all. I don't know why they did my tow truck go. Or I think that's a uh, a glow thing. Look at that. Got that logo put on, boys. Look at that. Oh, man. That actually looks good. Oh, man. I'm hoping this large ain't too big. 
Hell yeah. Man, this joy is fire, bro. Whoa. This joint is fire, bro. Might be a little too big. No, actually, it's not big at all. It's just that puffy bomber jacket. That shit look all right? What's it look like? What's it look like? Do I look like a big old Michelin? Man, damn, this bitch is warm, though. Fire. Holler at him later. Holler at him later. Here, let me step back for y'all. <laughs> you already know I got the cubbies on too. And this actually looks good. I think that logo looks good too. Like I said, I don't know why this came out like tannish. You know what I mean? But I think that's just all reflective material. And it's nicely like imprinted on there. And this, the model is this Kashigo. Did I say that right? Kashigo. But it's on there pretty nice. Yeah, man. I mean, I got the large anyway, just because you wear coveralls and a hoodie underneath and stuff, but I think it fits perfect, man. I think this thing is fire, dude. comes to right here that's where it ends i know you probably can't see where it ends because of my coveralls but that's where it ends right there this bitch is warm boy this bitch is warm does he got a no fucking hood That's nice. I like that. I like that. Man, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me for a little while, man. Yeah, they do. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yeah, I figured that's how they fit, man. Nice and puffy and shit. Think about buying a tow truck. Is it hard to find cars to tow? Honestly, man, it depends how hard you hustle, man. How how big your ambition is and how dedicated you are to your own company. You know? It, it all just matters on that. And how much you uh, post online, like Google-wise, um, stuff like that. Oh, maybe I do. Yes, it did come. Yes. I was going to get them to you earlier. I was like, I don't know if he's waiting for these or not. Oh, yeah. No, it's okay. There's your mail for you, too. Awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome, Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, we just getting all types of goodies today, boys. Damn it. And then I ordered some uh, uh, new safety chains too from Zips. So I think they'll be here tomorrow as well. 
and I got some new hooks too. I've just been ordering hooks off the chain. But uh Yeah. But yeah, uh, about um, finding cars and stuff, man. Like I said, make sure your Google presence online is established. Um, post a couple pictures or however, even if you do one tow a day or just post one picture a day, it'll still help you out. But get on, download GMG, Google My Business, and uh, make sure you verify your listing and all that good stuff on Google and do all of that shit and then um what you call it and verify everything and then post a picture cons consecutively every single day to there and um when you do your descriptions put whatever town you're in say like i'm in greensboro so i would put towing in greensboro maryland as a description and you could put like towing a honda civic for whatever you know what i mean but mainly just put like what you're doing, which is telling and where you're at and your description. So you can hit your keywords every time somebody is searching for something and all that good shit. But another thing, build a website. I use Footbridge Media. I pay $250 a month, literally $250 a month for them to keep my webpage updated consistently. Now, I slack on sending them pictures because I've been so busy. So I'm probably a couple months behind on my pictures for them, but I do post to Google every single day. But because only because you got to fill out all the details when you send to the footbridge, but they help you. Trust me, my Google is on top now. So when you search in this area, my Google is being shown because I work hard on that shit. And I got inside people that push my SEOs, push keywords, make sure everything. on. Go check out my webpage, callminuteman.com. Look at that web page. Tell me what y'all think. Why not buy one dolly? Hold on. I used to repo for two buy air, pay air car, lots of nineties stayed running. Oh hell yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. They, I don't know what they fucking got in them as engine wise, but them bitches do run. Yep. Yeah. If you uh talking about repos and shit, man, all right there. But this is why I bought one dolly, bro. Because I got my other dolly right there. Get back. Because one of my dollies fell off the fucking back of my truck. How? I don't know. Never happened in fucking two years, but... 700 709 to be exact but yeah it fucking fell off the back of my truck dude and how to get with banks for repos get these right here get your lpr cameras if you're doing repos the number one thing you should do get lpr cameras when you get them they come with a list of all the biggest financial places with an email. And as long as you're already in the RDN network and you got your LPRs and everything, you can get connected with these fucking places easier and faster and everything. As long as your background, your lot and everything, check out. Easiest way to get repossessions. Also, just go to local buy here, pay here's, and you ain't got to deal with all the big shit like I've been doing recently. I don't fuck with the cameras anymore. I don't mess with the big banks they side with the debtors way too much. They're only paying 250 per car and people are hiding them. They're not like 250 of uh, GPS repo, you know what I mean? But if you want to go big banks and shit like that, get your LPR cameras. If not, go to buy here, pay here's, advertise for um, private repossessions, you know what I mean? Friends letting another friend uh, pay monthly for a car. He doesn't pay, but they got to sign contract. You can yank that motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's a private repossession. You could do bank repossessions. You could do buy here, pay here repossessions. You could do fax machine repossessions. You could do um, doctor's equipment repossessions, x-ray machines. You can do toolbox repossessions. You could do sheds. You can do boats. You could do airplanes. You could do um, 
pretty much any type of repossession you want to do. It just depends what you want to do to the repossession area. Towing, if you absolutely literally have nothing and you're dead moving nothing every single day, join the motor clubs. I built my company. I made six figures. I made in six months with a Giro, just with a Giro alone, last year in six months, I made 90000 with a Giro alone. That's not including urgently and all the other motor clubs, but I ran 15 to 20 fucking toes a day for them. All my fucking toes every single day, working 15, 16 hour days, putting in work. I made that money. If you want it, you're going to get it. You know what I mean? It's, it's just as simple as that. It, it's out there. And, and listen, I made that with a $35 hook rate, dollar twenty or no dollar fifty in route and two twenty five loaded. So when I was doing local toads within uh, ten miles, I wasn't getting paid nothing but thirty five dollars, and I made ninety thousand, a little over ninety thousand, with just a Giro alone. I made six figures between all the motor clubs and all the repossessions. I made six figures. But with a Giro alone, six months span because I didn't get my truck until March of last year. Oh, I didn't get my truck until March of last year. And then I had it for three months. And then three months after that, my truck was down because it was getting the engine changed because it blew up. And then I ran for the rest of the uh, year. So trust me, if you hustle hard enough, bro, you can find work you can find everything you know what i mean go to local mechanics tell them hey man you got somebody to tow your cars in blah 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 i'll tow for you and i'll recommend people when they break down to come here um you can do a lot of things man trust me like it's out there dude just gotta really really hustle hard man whoa Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I was just trying to see something. Thanks, Clarence. Do they pay you on time? Honk pays by credit card immediately. Yeah, Honk pays within an hour after you complete the job, man. And uh, yeah, Jira pays on time, dude. They pay twice a week now. As long as you file everything. Like I say, if you're towing, man, the first thing you should automatically do off the rip before you do anything is download Towbook, towbook.com. Get one of their packages. I do the 189 a month or 289 a month. I do the $289 a month. Yes, it's fucking almost $300, but it invoices everything. It tracks all your payments. It tracks your bills. It automatically integrates with QuickBooks. It, um, logs everything i log my repossessions i log my junk cars and i log salvage cars i log every single thing impounds everything in tow book everything but the thing about tow book is it's gps built and all the motor clubs work with it so if you're in an area and they cannot find a provider because everybody turned them down you will get an out of network digital request saying Hey, do you want to tow this or do you want to jumpstart this car? Will you accept this job? Because everything is done digitally. So when you sign up for motor clubs and get motor club work, you can fucking get all your calls digitally. Look, like right now, tow book going off because of Jiro sending a tow in. Literally right now. And uh, that's how everything is done nowadays, man, with motor clubs. And everything. You can have, you can set up tow book with a mechanic and give them a link that they save. And it's literally when they open the link on the website, it's a form and they fill out the form and it sends it to you as a call already filled out with the driver, with the details of the car, where it's at, where it's going. And it's easy, bro. You don't have to do nothing. And you can bank all your pictures in there. You could take videos. You could do damage forms, accident forms, everything with Towbook, man. I highly, highly, highly recommend Towbook over anything, dude. Download tow book should be your first thing as a towing company because for one you want to keep your tax record straight I'm not that tow truck driver that fucking don't uh, record cash calls and junk calls and junk cars And I record everything every single dollar I make for one because of my ego. I want to know what I make 
You know what I mean? That's just simple. That's the easiest way I could put it, man. My ego is too big. I want to know that I made a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand. I don't want to do seventy-five thousand every year just because of tax reasons. Because peep this: filed taxes last year, hundred fifty-seven thousand. I had fifty-six thousand dollars in receipts that I saved. That's why you're supposed to save every single receipt. It doesn't matter. It deals with business. If you eat while you're on the road, if you get coffee, if you fucking buy a charger, if you buy a chain, or if you buy a dolly, or a tow light, or that jacket. This coffee, if you buy any of that on the road, gas, everything, save it. You buy a fucking chair for your office, save that receipt, everything, man. And that's going to help you on taxes like it is. I owed 19000 in taxes, right? Because I made 157 6%. I owed 19000 With all the receipts I had, it offset it all that. I didn't have to owe nothing. I didn't pay a single dime. Matter of fact, with the kids that we have, we ended up getting 9000 back in taxes. You know what I mean? Yeah, see, the thing with tow book and out-of-network calls, as soon as you complete that out-of-network call, that credit card information will be inside the billing notes of your tow book. A lot of people don't realize that, and that's why a lot of people don't get paid and don't see that their payment's in the tow book. But as soon as you complete that call, go on your laptop, not on your cell phone, go on your laptop version of tow book, go into... um your uh completed calls open your call up and you'll see billing notes inside the billing note section you'll have credit card number as immediately as soon as you complete that call because it's by gps so if you are where you say you are and you complete that call on site you will get paid immediately all out of network calls are good man I get a lot of all state calls because I'm a provider for everyone else. But I did recently tell a Jiro I'm going out of network. But here's another thing that I did not know when I was signing up with a Jiro just because I wanted the work and I wanted to um, just because I wanted the work and I wanted to just hurry up and just start making business and start showing people that I'm doing big and doing good because the Jiro was sending me upwards of 100 and some calls a day at least and at the very minimum 60 a day you know what i mean and it still is like that as as we speak now it's still like that but what i didn't know when i signed up with them i took the lowest package and i did not know you could negotiate rates i wasn't even trying to negotiate rates i'm not even kidding nobody like i just wasn't even trying because i was just trying to hurry up get on make money so what i did was just accepted, you know what I mean? But the I've know at least ten people that took my advice, signed up with the Jiro, but when the Jiro sent them the rate con, the rate sheet or whatever, to you know what I mean of what the proposed rates are or whatever, they sent it back and said, I cannot accept them rates. And they said, Well, what can you accept? And sent them a blank rate form. They both put not both, they all put $65 hook fee, $4 a mile, and they approved it. So there is negotiation wiggle room that you can do with um, a Jira when you sign up. And just a heads up, I was able to get a hold of a Jira and they just sent me a rate, a blank rate sheet to where they told me to fill out the rates and see if they will approve them. Get somebody calls me and all that crap that don't fucking answer. Yeah, man. I'll be happy, man. If I had a $65 hook rate and even $250 a mile with a Jiro, bro, I'd, I'd take that. I'd take the 65 hook rate. You know what I mean? But. I don't fucking like that. But, um, I can't do it for that 35 they do. So I told them when they kept calling recently. I told him, look, I'm going out of network.
so they will use me last on some things but they do call me to do toes and they pay that credit card up front so I'm getting all these damn phone calls now alright let's open this toe light man oh shit Look, I'm about to break this bitch already. Oh, I guess I got to screw that in there. All right. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to go absent on y'all. People keep calling. Just had a call from Denton to um, Seaford. Just told the guy 150. It's a little Toyota Camry, but it's 26 miles from my shop, so... Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I gave him a little deal, told him 150. He said he'll call me back, but people don't want to pay the price, man. Like, I'm not going fucking almost 30 miles away. Like, I really don't even want to do it for 150, but. Yeah, man, that's why I've been telling them 100% GOA. Sometimes they don't even accept my call, but they, I don't know. Make sure y'all like this video too, man. Sorry that it just froze up on y'all too. Yeah, man, I've lost money on a lot of calls, man. A lot of different things. But honestly, it's it's all learning curve, you know what I mean? Sometimes I just do it just because, you know what I mean? I just do it, you know what I mean? I'll make up for it in another call or something. But I usually just, uh, you know, I try to be fair as I can, man. And, and I do look out for people that, you know what I mean, don't have a whole lot of means and stuff like that. I do take that in consideration. And uh, I, I look out for a lot of people, you know what I mean? This is what this come with. The new charger, the new light. like in this thing man here's the battery it's on the other side yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna screw that in then. They don't want me to fucking do it. I appreciate that, man. I really do. And I know some people, because I'm guilty for it too, man. I'll get into watching a video and everything, and I'll forget to like it and all that shit, man. So I know how it is. So I don't really get mad at people. I don't get mad at all either way, but. It does help, man, with the algorithm, and we got steady. We had, like, almost 30 people in here from what it did say, but now it's, like, 16 or something. But I already know, man. You get to watching something. This one was uh, 220 free shipping. Because, man, you got overhead, dude. I pay $5,000 a month and just um, overhead, just bills, period. Then on top of that, you got maintenance. Dude, if you watch the videos, you'll see, especially coming up, how much I've had to redo this truck, bro. Like I said, this lift was $10,000. I just did that back in fucking August. Um, redone the engine. I've had to redo all new tires and redo everything. Rewired the whole truck, the whole engine. Every single part on that engine is new from the alternators, from the batteries. I just, look, just redid the, uh, just redid the oil cooler right there. I've redone everything, glow plug, injectors, every single thing you can think of on this truck has been redone. So I put everything into this truck because this is my money maker now. Timing is everything. Even if I had the money to get a truck, I still wouldn't do it right now because then it would just fucking 
put me right down the playing fields to where I would have to play catch up to do that. I wouldn't never put myself in that position until I'm at the point where I can spend the cash, buy a truck, and still have plenty of overhead left of money. I mean, you know what I mean? So that's why right now, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't do roadside, bro. Like, I don't accept none of them roadside calls. Nah, the DRN Karens are 15, bro. Mom are 15, 16. Yeah, man, you don't want to put yourself in a position, man. Just because you think you got, you know what I mean? You look at, oh, man, I got 15 in the bank. So let that bitch sit and accumulate. That can make you more money. Take that 15 and invest it in a couple junk cars, a couple different things to where you can make another 100, 200 off of each thing. That's what I do now. I would never put myself in that position to where I would be playing catch up with bills again. But with these honk calls coming the way they are, man, I'm going to tell you, these paying cars right here. Yeah, bro. It, you know what I mean? You don't ever want to put yourself in a tight position. Like, I live comfortable right now to the point I can pay my bills. I still have plenty of money left over, and I'm good. I don't stress if I need something, if my truck breaks down, anything, I know I can cover it. You know what I mean? I will never put myself in that position to where I was at the beginning of this company. Now that I'm living comfortable, I'm just stacking, man. I don't care if it takes another year or two, bro. I would do it, you know what I mean? Because timing is everything, you know what I mean? When that time is right, it's going to come. And But until then, I'm still going to make money. But like I was saying in a couple videos back, we're about to buy a house. This house is worth the way it sits, 300000 Getting it for one ninety nine. It's 3,200 square feet. It's little acre and a half. It's really five and a half acres, but they cut it in half for the, the wood line all the way back to the river waterfront. And, uh, hold on, sorry. And so already, I already have equity in it. You know what I mean? Almost 100,000 just as it sits. I'm renovating it now. That's why we are not in it right this second. Because for it to pass inspection, it was already being renovated by my wife's uncle. So we have to finish it, which I've pretty much, I'm almost there. I got all drywall, got everything up. I'm almost finished sanding everything, doing all that shit. Got to put some tile up in the bathrooms, screw a couple deck boards down. And uh, what you call it? Um go ahead and uh, get it inspected. I just put the water heater in, redid the plumbing, put new bathtubs in there, new uh, plumbing behind the showers and everything, um, new drywall and almost the whole uh, house, redoing the basement. There's a lot of things I'm doing, but it's going to uh, it's going to fucking pay off, man. But see, my plan is to get in this house. Six months after I'm in the house, I can refinance, borrow against it, Boom. I'm going to at least do 100. You know what I mean? I'm going to at least borrow 100. I'm going to have to. Me and my wife already agreed on it. That's what we're going to do. That's how I'm building the lot behind it, the fence, the garage, the whole nine yards. I'm getting another tow truck, maybe two if I can find them cheap because I'm not buying them new. I would never do that. I'm going to at least get like a 2015, 16. And uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll run you through you uh, I'm going to be there this week because I got to get in there. Like, I haven't been able to get to it for, like, the last 10 days because I've been so busy. So, like, that's another thing, timing, and you know what I mean? But if you accept that it takes that long and you don't rush the process, it works so smooth. If you try to rush, if you try to do all this shit that you know you shouldn't be doing, you're going to fuck something up. You're going to just fail, man. Timing is everything, man. Just wait it out. You know what I mean? Honk. Yeah, man, I got to stop smoking these fucking things, man. Yeah, I appreciate that, Zach. Appreciate that, boy. I really do got to stop smoking these fucking things, though. Hey, look. I'm going to add some moderators, man. Y'all been in here, bro? My dogs want to come out. Y'all been in here kicking it with me, man. Y'all deserve that shit, dude. Y'all can clean this place up if it ever gets... Because I might start going live some more. 
<laughs> right, right. Yes, yes. Honk, honk. These are all lockbox toes. If you guys are uh, not too familiar with these, this is how Carvana um, does all of their buys that they would say, like, if you sell a car to Carvana, they'll come out and, uh, you know, I mean, buy your car and do all that stuff. And then they'll set a lockbox on here and send the tow through Honk. Honk will then dispatch it out to a provider that's in the local area. It goes by GPS. So we are in an area and Honk is getting big. And listen, the original hook fees and shit, you can set your own price with Honk. And they'll tell you like at the perfect limit. Like right now I got a $65 hook fee and 150 a mile for them. And that's their base rate for me for towing. Yep. I stopped, man, for a whole year, dude, and then I started the towing company, and then I was like, fuck, I gotta, I need a cigarette, man. I was stressed out sometimes. Stressed out, man. Yeah, but these are honk calls, man. They'll send them out. Like, right now, we got five of them. This four runner, I got uh, $400, 379, 379. I think this one was 309 and this one was 329. And then I just literally took one this morning that was 359. So something like that. I might, I might be off on some prices, but they were all fucking up there. You know what I mean? Yeah, no problem, Scott. Y'all kicking it with me, man. 20 of y'all are in here just chilling with me, man. Make sure the other nine of y'all hit that like button. If you haven't hit it. Oop. Battery dying. Oops. If y'all haven't hit it, man, hit that like button, guys. I've been kicking it with y'all for almost two hours, man. I should have been taking one of these cars across the bridge, but I'm glad we ended up getting everything. So it was worth waiting because I want this tow light to be jamming when i go oh yeah too oh man damn brother that sucks man and you're up there in colorado too man my boy matt's up there repo nut y'all watch that channel i know y'all watch my boy matt man i keep up with him man he hasn't posted nothing in like six months dude but I text him, you know what I mean? I try to text him here, like, at least once a month. I'll send him a text message and just be like, how you doing, brother? He'll hit back. Yeah, I'm good. Just to check in, man. Yeah, Utah, that's what I meant, not Colorado. Sorry. But, uh, because y'all are close out there, man. But, uh, yeah, man, after his little shit that he did before to ruin everything he's done, I always try to check in on him, man. He reached out and uh, went ahead and emailed me and shit and gave me his number and all that. So I do try to keep up with him. Yeah, man, he's, he's, uh, I don't know. That's, that's my boy, man, but you know what I mean? He's just dealing with some things, man. Yeah, I think he's still there. I didn't even ask him last time. He just said he's just working, so. I appreciate that, man. I try to make it the best channel, dude. Like, I try to, I've been trying to just get more stuff, man. Um, I try to, like, I got five more repo videos coming up, too. For all y'all that like repos, they're coming up next season. They, it just sucks because I just did them um, three weeks ago, Halloween. Or no, a month ago, shit, a month ago now. But I just did all five of them repos on Halloween. So those videos are actually about to come up here within, I think at the end of season three, at the end of this season, like another seven or eight videos, the repos will start coming up. And I'm gonna break them up probably through like, um, maybe three to five different videos, depending. 
One of them, I had to fucking squeal all the way out. I had to drag that bitch all the way out because her kids came out and was like, "You, see, my mom said, make your own damn key. Fucking like an eight, nine-year-old, bro, came out there and was like, my mom said, make your own damn key. So I was like, <laughs> fuck them. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I got a good camera, bro, if you want to buy it. I got another camera that's the version under mine. And uh, it's about like a $800 camera. It's a Canon 80D. Does 1080p and all that shit just like mine. And uh, yeah, man, I'm trying to sell that because I don't use it, man. So it just sits in the bag. And it, it's a shame, dude, because I'm like, I want to keep it because that was my very first camera I started on. And uh, um, Nah, I got a Canon RP that I use now. I got a Canon 80D that I um, we used in the very beginning of all my videos for like the first um, for the first four months, four or five months. I used the Canon 80D, so all my first videos are all on the Canon. Um, and I got two GoPros. I got the GoPro 10. I got the GoPro 9, and um, I got my drone. The Maverick Air Pro 2, whatever, Maverick Air 2, whatever you want to call that motherfucker. But yeah, it just sits in the camera bag, man. And it's a shame, dude, because like right now, I can sell it easy, $600. And that's just the camera itself, you know what I mean? And I got two different lenses for it. I got the 50 mil lens and I got the, tw what is it, the 24 to... 50 48 or something i don't know something like that <laughs> on the iphone yeah bro I, I, you email me man i can uh send you the settings that i use on my gopro cameras to get the uh the look that i get you know what i mean yeah i don't got facebook though man so it's hard for me to sell shit I deleted that stuff out of my life, man. I don't need that shit. Nate, I just seen your message, bro. Yeah, just shoot me an um, email, man. And uh, I'll get back to you, bro. MinutemanRecovery at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email, bro. Hell yeah. I ain't even see you, Nick. I was going to add you too, bro. Yeah, man. I, I gave up on Facebook, man. I gave up on that Facebook, dude. <laughs> Nick, you crazy, boy. You crazy, motherfucker. You crazy, motherfucker. Oh, damn. I ain't seen these. I like that. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even be getting on live like that. This is the first time I went live in months, man. But I'm hoping to keep going, man. Keep in contact with y'all. I like just kicking it for a little bit. You know what I mean? Just kicking in bullshitting. I want to get like, if I can find like a smaller, like error board or something, I'd love to put one of them on this truck, man. I really don't want like the real big ones, like triple A and shit, God, but Edge CTS monitor. Yeah, I've never even seen the touchscreen ones before. Those bits are pretty dope, man. Yeah, man, I want a, I want a heavy duty, man. I'm working my way to it, man. Look, my goals in the next 15, 20 years, I want at least two locations. I want at least five to six trucks at each. 
within 15 to 20 years. That's what I want, man. I hope I can make it happen. Matter of fact, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make that shit happen. It's almost 12 o'clock. Let me see how much battery I got left on my phone, y'all. All right. We're at 7%. What's the bully, dog? <coughs> Minuteman Recovery at Gmail. Yeah, what's that bulldog or bully dog you're talking about? Is that like a controller for the engine or something? Because I do want, I would do want to try to do something to this engine, kind of crank it up a little bit. I mean, she's a beast, but I don't know, man. I want to upgrade that turbo or something. Yeah, that's what I do, man. I got like, um, Oh, you mean like, okay, okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, okay. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna have to look them up, man. Y'all got me interested now. What do they cost? And how, like, how do you put them on? Do I gotta have a mechanic do that shit? Cause I, I'm not too inclined on that, uh, all that crazy shit. I'm not too mechanically inclined, but that's when I get my shop, man. You gonna see me start working on cars more. You gonna start seeing a lot more car shit dirt bikes all that shit man i'm gonna get all them toys side by sides damn right man that that's yeah that's a good idea oh okay okay what I had to look that shit up, man. And what do you just program it right on the, the controller? I might have to look that shit up, man. Bully dog. Bully dog. What was the other one you said? Hypertech. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Bully dog. I'm gonna look that shit up, man. I'm gonna look that shit up as soon as we get off of here. Hell yeah, dude. That's a good ass. Yeah. Because I always wanted just a little bit more oomph, man. Just a little. What the fuck is this? I got so many people trying to send me credit cards, man. Gain power and mileage. GSX switch. Hell yeah. I'll keep you on here, artist. The position TS6. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at them, man. I'll probably just do like the bullet dog, something simple right now. Hell yeah. What about a uh um a turbo for the 7.3. An upgraded turbo. TS6 is a knob of five or six numbers. Each number is one of this power level. Mm -hmm. 
it don't have negative tilt no no negative tilt man that's what i miss about that jordan i'm gonna have to i'm telling you dude, i'm gonna have to look at him man because i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking yank that motherfucker up man Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, mine, mine tilts up and down. Nah, I can't tilt when the car's on. Fuck no. That's what I miss about that Jordan, bro. Yeah. Yeah, she's not like that, man. She's old fucking belt, uh, hydraulic belt driven fucking PTO. It's all old school, man, but it does the job, though, man. But then new lift that I got on here with the... See, I never used to have the winch attachment, neither, on my old one. Yeah, the Miller's uh, the Century Joints, they're pretty much damn near the same, for real. Yeah, she's all new. I got to grease her up again, for real. The only thing I kept from my old one was this. Just the two uh, L-arms. That's the only thing I kept from my old lift. Because there wasn't nothing wrong with them just right there. But it wasn't no need for me to spend, what, $600 for what? Because that's broken? Hell no. Think smarter. But... She's good, man. I love her, dude. That shit is powered by tow book. But I love her, man. It's not the best, but it does. It does what it is. I hate that belt, man. It fucking sucks. I know. I want I want the actual um I want the, the metal joint, man. I want the actual fucking metal bumper for this. Just because it, I think that bitch looks good, man. I have to look into that chrome bumper, man. Hey, are these the, uh, is this the replacement batteries right here? Or is this just a fuse? Smoking deer and <laughs> man, I wouldn't mind having me some deer jerky right now. God, some old fresh deer jerky, man. Oh man, right? You fucking sobered up quick, didn't you? Damn, boys, I'm about to have to cut it short, boys, because my phone's about to die on y'all. I had to end up cutting it short, man, but it was real nice hanging with y'all boys. I'll have to come back. Hey, look, matter of fact, since I got all y'all that just hanging in here like this, man, a constant number, at least 20 of y'all at a time. Yeah, that's what I thought, the fuses. Maybe we'll do Friday night lights. What y'all think? Or Saturday night lights. Either one or Sunday night lights. 
Maybe Sunday. Sunday a better day for everybody. Maybe do Sunday night lights like 8, 8.30 at night. What y'all think? Damn, brother. What's up, Knight? I didn't even know you was in here, boy. I ain't even know you was in here, boy. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, we'll do uh, Sunday night lights, man. 8, 8.30 or Friday. Friday night lights just to make it, keep it original. Friday night lights, man. Yeah, let's do that. I'll make sure I'm in every night Friday so we can get these on. Maybe I'll post up somewhere in a parking lot or some uh, or something. Have the fucking lights going in the background and just make a fucking thing out of it. Well, you gonna have to let my phone charge first, brother. My phone about to die, but I'll definitely get up with y'all in a little bit. My man said, I'm gonna group FaceTime you, boom. <laughs> really trying to kill that battery. Oh, look at night coming through, boy. Yeah, man, make sure y'all take it easy too, man. Make sure y'all stay safe and everything. Comment on the video or something. Everybody comment on the time and we'll um, we'll, we'll uh, all come together and uh, make a good day for everybody and uh, do the damn thing. You know what I mean? We'll all come in. We'll group chat it up. We'll fucking go over everything, help other people, um, help other people get going. You know what I mean? Find other people that maybe are closer to you in your area to where, you know what I mean? We can just network, man, because like I'm going to tell you. There's been times like right now, these dollies, just because people network, I was able to borrow them while my other ones came in. You know what I mean? We could all help each other, man. But make sure y'all stay safe and everything. I don't want this phone to cut off for me, man. I love, love hanging out with y'all, man. Just all oh, stepping dog shit. But love hanging out, man. And uh, make sure y'all stay safe, y'all. Try to read and keep up, man. Yeah, man, we'll, we'll think of something, man. We'll run it. But uh, make sure y'all stay safe, man, and I'm going to get out of here and work.